Welcome once again to one of those episodes where we explore the causal relationship between components and the circuit. Let's get to it. Welcome once again to the series and I'm sure you really had a nice time in the previous one and you're ready to explore another investigation. Now, the previous one, if you've seen it, you must have seen that we talked about what happens to the speed of a motor if I increase or decrease the number of cells or battery in the circuits. And you must have seen the causal relationship, that is, how the one component affects the other parts of the circuit. Now this time we're moving to something a bit different from what you've been doing so far. This time is for the sound lovers and we're looking at the buzzers. So you can see what happens to the volume of a buzzer if I increase or decrease the voltage of the cells in the circuit. Now, we, we can't, as in without thinking, you should know that we will need buzzers this time. But I will not use the regular batteries we've been having because they are rated 4 volt, uh, 1.5 volts. And looking at the buzzer I have, that means you would see that I have six volts DC. And that tells me that if I'm going to use the 1.5 volts, I will need at least four to power that. Because that's me 1.5, two will give you three, then double that, that should give you four. That makes uh, four batteries to give you six volts. But I like if you remember in the first series, that's the first episode of this series, you must have seen that I introduced a battery like this which has 4 volts. That means I could get close to it and just double this to give me 8 volts. So doubling this, giving me 8 volts should be enough to power this DC buzzer. So we will be doubling this, we'll first try with 1 and see the effect, try with 2 batteries and see the effect. I'm not quite sure this buzzer will take three, but we can have a go at it and see what happens. Firstly, as usual, we will need our buzzer. Buzzer, we have a switch, a power source. Um, pay attention, this time we'll be working with sounds and I don't have a battery case for this but okay I do I can get I just remember from some of my old videos I talked about this so I'll be using this for my battery holder today 